Um, as we've already said, there are two uses of uh, super in this um, a method we've already seen, which is um, using super as a reference to the super class and uh, this as a reference to the current class. And uh, what we're going to discuss here is uh, using super in this as a um, as a sort of core. Now, uh, super followed by a parameter list is a call to the constructor of the direct super class. And uh, this, followed by a parameter list, is a call to a constructor within the current class. Now, of course, um, uh, constructors are not methods, and um, you can't get them to run in the same way as you would methods. Uh, you've got to do it by using either new or, or this, like that, or um, super, like that. Now, um, there are some uh, more uses which uh, more rules rather which uh, restrict the uses of uh, this and super and uh, these are down here. Um, first of all, um, uh, the first statement of any constructor must be either this, like that, or super, like that. Now you cannot use this or super in that form anywhere anywhere else at all except as a first statement of a constructor okay. and uh, um, if you um, don't put uh, this um, followed by the parameter list or super followed by its parameter list um, if you don't put one of those in as um, a call in um, as the first statement um, of a constructor the compiler will insert super taking no parameters as the first course as the first statement and uh, that basically ensures that what happens with each constructor is that the first thing it does is it either calls another constructor or it calls the constructor in the super class and uh, if you don't do anything it will call the constructor which takes no arguments otherwise if you put something in explicitly you can make it call any particular constructor you want just by specifying the right argument list there, parameter list rather and uh, if the constructor is overloaded you can well, do call whichever one you want now um, <coughs> there's um, no access to instance methods or fields until after uh, that call to super has run. Now that means that um, you may only use static methods or fields or alternatively constructor arguments of course in any expressions passed as parameters to um, the call to this or super because basically the class hasn't been constructed so um, you can't pass stuff in until it's been constructed properly um, here's an example which uh, illustrates most of these uh, uh, points uh, what we've got here is a class uh, class A here with a constructor in it and um, if it's got a constructor it won't have inserted a default constructor at all so uh, something to remember and uh, his class C which extends A uh, it's got a static int there and an ordinary int there and uh, here's a uh, constructor uh, takes no parameters and uh, um, th what it does is simply pass the job over to this constructor here um, passing in 42 into there and uh, that's quite okay but here we've got um, an error and uh, this is going to cause an error because uh, what happens is there's no um, there's no call here to uh, either this or super remember this is not a call that's a reference so there's no call to this or super so what happens is the compiler will insert um, super like that and that of course is a is a call, it's an attempted call to something called A with no parameters up here.
that sort of constructor. And of course there is no such constructor up here, so that will cause an error. Right, um, here's a, another example of an error down here. Um, here we're passing in i to super, and now i is an instance field, and uh, you're not allowed to access instance fields until after super has run. So you can, it's only when you've returned from super somewhere down here that you can access the instance fields and do whatever you want with them. Now you could of course um, pass in w, that would be alright because that's a static, or um, uh, j or k, that would equally well or any expression involving that lot. But you can't use i because i is an instance field. And um, basically you can't um, uh, go messing around with the fields in this class until um, super is run because super is what's doing the construction of the um, uh, super class bit. Right, here's a, another error down here. Um, well, um, it, first of all it starts with an if statement, so what uh, compiler will try and do is uh, put a call, default call to super in, so that's okay. But when we come to this here, we've got a call to super in there. And super has to be the first statement. You can't put it anywhere, but it's the first statement. And uh, so that will trigger an error at that point. Um, right, now let's see what we've got here. Here's uh, another class which extends A and uh, hasn't got anything in it, but um, that's enough to give an error. Because it doesn't have anything in it, the um, compiler will insert a default constructor. And the default constructor will look like that take no arguments and um, first thing it will do is call super and for the same reason as up here uh, it won't work there's no um, constructor in A which takes no arguments so you'll find it's often useful in fact to um, put a no argument constructor in quite often because um, you can sometimes end up calling it when you don't expect to, like this. Right, this class W illustrates another type of error. Uh, this is a different sort of error. This is um, where you get sort of recursion taking place within constructors because obviously this constructor here is all it's done is passed the thing over to this constructor here to do and it's passed the job back to the original constructor. So this little bit of recursion there will it's in fact detected by the compiler and it will give an error saying it's a recursive constructor call.